Drones have come a long way since their initial creation for military surveillance. Nowadays, they're used for all sorts of cool things, like taking high-quality footage at events and performances. And let's not forget about their ability to explore places that humans can't even think about going. These flying cameras have even discovered things that were previously unknown to us. In fact, I've got a new collection of drone discoveries that I'm sure will leave you amazed. Number one, an entire plantation of banned plants. An earthquake had just hit a countryside near the city of Ravenna, northeast Italy. It was a pretty intense one, measuring around five on the Richter scale. And you know what officials thought would be a good idea? Using unmanned drones to check out the damage caused by the earthquake. They wanted to know if any buildings had been lost or if there was any other significant damage. But guess what the drones found along with the damage? Something totally unexpected. It wasn't just some neglected plants that hadn't been looked after for years. It was an entire illegal plantation of marijuana that the drone had uncovered. The owners of this plantation had set up a pretty accurate system for irrigation, and in fact had even managed to hide a total of 182 plants for years, literal years. I can only imagine the faces of these owners who managed to hide this for years only for it to be discovered because of an earthquake and a flying camera. Number two, waterfall that started flowing backward. Waterfalls got their name because the water flows in the downward direction, right? But sometimes nature just goes, well, I'm not playing by any rules and decides to do the exact opposite of the usual phenomena. Like in the case of, I don't even know what to call it, reverse waterfall, upward waterfall. Anyhow, this pretty rare phenomenon of a reverse waterfall was seen in Ivins, Utah. What caused it, you ask? It was the strong winds that decided to show their power and change the flow of water. Apparently, the wind speed that day was higher than approximately 46.6 miles per hour. These powerful winds caused the water to be blown upward, creating the illusion that the waterfall was flowing in reverse. Just look at how the water is swirling and the mist is moving over those red rocks along. Truly majestic, but let's be honest, it's not like we would have ever been able to see it if it wasn't for the drones capturing these rare moments, right? Number three, the only tree in the Dead Sea. At first glance, it may seem like any other tree, but let me tell you it's not. This unique tree stands out because of its location. It's growing on a salt island in the Dead Sea. Can you believe it? It's located in a place literally with the word dead in its name because of its characteristic of having a salt concentration 10 times higher than that of the ocean, which makes it almost impossible for any plant or animal life to survive. Yes, I'm talking about the Dead Sea. So how is it possible for a tree to grow in such an extreme environment, let alone on an island made entirely of salt? Well, here's the thing. The tree may have roots stretching into the salty crust of the island and buds on its branches, but it wasn't actually sprouted and grown there. It was an art installation by a local artist who brought and planted it on the salt island. The artist made it his daily ritual to visit the tree and nurture it with mud around its base. It's almost like he's taking care of a living, breathing art piece. We all know that the Dead Sea is slowly dying, with the shoreline inching closer to the water each year. So I guess this tree of life could be a metaphor for how strong life is, even in the face of death. But who knows what it really means? Regardless of the meaning, it is definitely mesmerizing. Number four, ancient abandoned home. This abandoned mansion captured by a drone isn't just a random one. Back in the days, this Georgian mansion was called Mount Shannon House and was built in the 18th century. As you can guess, it was known for its architectural magnificence. It had 365 windows, that's one for every day of the year, and an entrance hall big enough to drive a coach and four horses right through. Look at this so post-apocalyptic looking yet so beautiful place. Would you believe it if I told you that it was the biggest and most impressive manor in the Castle Connell area and was home to John Fitzgibbon, first Earl of Clare, a controversial figure in Irish history? He had some pretty strong political views, but hey, we're not here to talk politics. This estate was so big that it had its own gas-making plant and several other utility buildings. That's right, this place was larger than some Irish villages. Sadly, 
The mansion was tragically burnt down during the Irish Rebellion in 1921 and has been left abandoned ever since. The front columns and main wings of the house still stand tall, but the rest is just a ruin. It's a bit of a shame, really. Number 5. Active Volcano Eruption Never in my life had I wondered that we'd be able to see a volcanic eruption so up close, and it wouldn't be CGI or animated, and it's all but the courtesy of a first-person view drone. Louis Huia was the one who decided to risk his drone and record some amazing footage of an eruption up close. This one is in Iceland, and you know the most surprising part? The drone got hit by the lava and lost its signals, making the footage stop right there. And if you're anything like me, you'd think, oh, that drone's gone for good. But it looks like this one was lava-proof. Not only did it survive, but it gave this amazing close-up footage of the volcano as well. Number 6. Cyclone of Deers If it wasn't for this drone, we wouldn't be able to see how dope this looks. I mean, if you were looking at it from the eye level, it would just look like some reindeers running around wildly, right? But no, these bucks are actually creating a spiral. And why, you ask? Because they sense danger in the air. Turns out, some vet was trying to give them some shots, and these bucks were like, Nah, fam, we're good. So they started circling around each other at like 50 miles per hour, with the little fawns in the center all covered up and protected. Talk about teamwork. This formation is actually a defensive strategy to confuse predators, so they can't just single out one of the bucks and go after them. And let me tell you, it's working like a charm. Number 7. Amateur Drone Operators found ancient Hispanic mummies. A group of amateur archaeologists on a holiday were flying a drone over the valley of Guayadeque on the island of Gran Canaria. It's not the most thrilling vacation activity, you'd think. But wait, it gets better. The drone captured some footage of a cave, and these guys soon found out that they had just discovered something. And what did they find? Oh, just 72 mummified skeletons belonging to the pre-Hispanic Guanche civilization. Apparently, these mummies belonged to the tribes that were the original inhabitants of the Canary Islands, settling there from North Africa. They have been in that cave for centuries and were alive somewhere between the 8th and 10th centuries, to be precise. That's some serious history right there. Now, the trio that found the cave held on to the information for a bit, you know, to avoid attracting any unwanted attention from vandals and robbers. And even when they did reveal the information, the public didn't believe them at all, saying it was fake. But eventually, archaeologist Veronica Alberto and culture counsellor Javier Velasco confirmed the discovery. And just like that, they made history. I mean, who knows how many more years it would have taken us to find this if it wasn't for a drone. Number 8 whale playing around with a paddleboard. Maximiliano Jonas filmed off the coast of Puerto Madryn, Argentina, with the help of a drone when a southern right whale approached the paddleboarder, Analia Giorgetti, who was sitting on the board. Can you imagine being in Giorgetti's shoes at that moment? I mean, the whale literally weighs 75,000 pounds, but it's not even thrashing around or slapping its fins at her like a madman. Nope. The whale just gently nudges the board and shows its curiosity. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. Maybe the whale just thought the paddleboard was broken and decided to help out a bit. Who knows? All I know is that this is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Number 9. A potential robber in a cornfield. This guy was out in his cornfields trying to get some cool drone footage. And man, does it look cool. But then something catches his eye. What could it be? A pumpkin? Nah. A scarecrow? Nope. It's a clown? Yep, you heard that right. A creepy clown in the middle of a freaking cornfield. And just when our operator tries to get a closer look, the clown takes off running. Like, seriously, full-on sprinting. The operator did his best to keep up, but that clown disappeared into the woods like a ninja. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure this isn't a normal occurrence. Was it just some dude with a sick sense of humor? Who knows? Number 10. 
a thousand-year-old village found in New Mexico. A team of archaeologists in New Mexico located a 1000-year-old village using drones. John Kantner, an archaeologist from the University of North Florida, had been searching for ancient structures called kivas for two decades. What's that? Underground chambers traditionally used for religious and ceremonial purposes in the southwestern United States. And let me tell you, searching for these structures on foot was not an easy task. That's where our little flying friends come in handy. Kantner and his team used drone surveillance along with thermal imaging to spot temperature differences while the structure heats and cools. And guess what? Their eight-rotor drone nailed it. The thermal imagery has revealed some interesting things that Kantner and his team didn't know about. They found rooms and are pretty sure they uncovered at least one kiva that was below the surface. And all this was achieved in just a few days of work. If they were to do this manually, it would have taken them a decade. So the images are going to help guide continue research in the area where researchers estimate hundreds of people once lived. I mean, how cool is that? Drones are officially the new superheroes of archaeology. Number 11. Canadian Bull Moose Sheds. Both antlers. On January 12th, 2023, in New Brunswick, Canada, this great bull moose shed not only one side, but both antlers while this guy was recording. Now I know what you're thinking. Big deal, moose shed their antlers all the time. But let me ask you this, how many of us actually get to witness it? Exactly. That's what makes this video so special. The best part is that the guy who was recording this was not going to let this opportunity go to waste. He followed the moose's trail and managed to get his hands on both the antlers. Talk about a lucky day. Not only did he get a Nat Geo worthy footage, but pretty valuable antlers as well. Number 12 ship graveyard. This crazy cool footage was captured by Michael Bush on a drone. It shows these old rusty ships just chilling in the Arthur Kill waterway off Staten Island in New York City. Now this spot is actually known as the Staten Island Boat Graveyard, or Tugboat Graveyard, or even Arthur Kill Boat Graveyard, depending on who you ask. But regardless of what you call it, it's got a rich history dating all the way back to the 1930s. It was originally meant for recovering valuable components from old vessels, but over time, it turned into a marine scrapyard where all sorts of ships were left to decay in the waterway. Even historic vessels like the fireboat Abram S. Hewitt and U.S. submarines are part of this eerie place. At one point, there were up to 400 vessels left to rot, but now it's estimated to be around 25, 40 ships. And let me tell you, it's not easy to get to. The site is posted with no trespassing signs, so it's pretty rare to get drone footage like this. Number 13. Lost Old Man. Found with the help of a drone. Looks like drones aren't just saving lost history, but lives as well. This senior citizen named Fred Samuels went missing in Atlanta. Now, Fred is an 84-year-old man with dementia, so you can imagine how worried his family and the police must have been. But as luck would have it, the police were able to find him using a drone. Yep, you heard me right, a drone. Apparently the drone was used as a last ditch resort to find Fred. And guess what? The drone worked. They spotted Fred about a mile away from his home. Talk about modern technology coming to the rescue. Now, before you start thinking that the drone did all the work, let me tell you that the police had already been searching miles of land using K-9 and helicopter units for almost 36 hours. Once they found Fred, they sent his family in to make contact with him first. And let me tell you, the reunion was heartwarming. You can see in the drone video that Fred's son and grandson were over the moon to see him safe and sound. And Fred was safe and sound, returned home and was given a bracelet with a tracker for patients with dementia. Number 14, Broken Whale. The Spanish Guardia Civil caught a whale on drone footage. Now, this isn't your ordinary whale sighting because the poor fella had a serious deviation in its spine. Ouch. This 17-meter-long fin whale was swimming off the coast of Spain near Culera in the Mediterranean Sea. The Oceanographic Valencia, a local aquarium, got wind of the news and immediately sent out their staff to check if the whale was entangled in a drift net. But turns out the whale wasn't entangled, it just had a serious curve in its spine. Ouch! And no, the cause of the curve wasn't because humans had somehow managed to hurt it, for once. 
but it had a pretty rare case of scoliosis. Why? No one really knows. I'm just hoping it's able to survive freely in the wild. Number 15. Man-Shaped Town Imagine you're just looking up your hometown on Google Maps when suddenly you discover something that blows not only your mind, but the entire world's as well. That's exactly what happened to Pio Andrea Perry, a photographer and drone operator from Centuripe. Perry noticed something unusual about the shape of his hometown on Google Earth. It looked like a person lying down with their arms stretched out. Crazy, right? So, he decided to put his drone to use and investigate. And guess what? The drone shots revealed that Centuripe does indeed resemble a human figure. Who would have thought? Perry had to stitch together several photos to capture the whole village, and the aerial images show two longer stretches of buildings that look like arms and two shorter ones that make up the head and the legs. Now, Centuripe is known as the human-shaped village or the giant of Centuripe, and it's a big hit among tourists who want to get a glimpse of this unique town. I know you're thinking, maybe they just made it this way to attract tourists. But no, its shape is purely coincidental. Yep, just a product of natural erosion and the town's expansion over the centuries. Anyways, some folks see a man lying down, while others see a starfish. What about you? What do you see when you look at it? Number 16. Spots a ghost. Someone sent a drone to Evergreen Cemetery in Judsonia, Arkansas, which is said to be haunted. The story goes like this. A young mother lost her baby around here in the early 1900s and was found dead after searching for it for days. Now, it's said that her ghost still wanders the cemetery looking for her baby. That's so sad. Well, two brave souls decided to check it out and film it with a drone. And guess what? They heard some weird cries, and the drone even spotted a figure running away. Could it be the ghost of the young mother, or just some druggie trying to score some weed in the cemetery? I'm not sure, but one thing's for sure. This place gives me the creeps. I don't think I'd want to hang around here after dark. Number 17. Drone discovers ancient tribe. I'm sure you've heard of the uncontacted tribes living in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah the indigenous people who were living without any contact with the outside world. Jose Carlos Morales took it upon himself to get up close and personal with these tribes. He got the first ever aerial footage of these people living their daily lives, and it's insane. The tribe is still living in the Stone Age era and using simple tools like clubs, spears, and bows to hunt. The men are all painted red with body paint made from seeds of an anato tree, and their homes are made of leaves and wood, surrounded by gardens of manioc, bananas, and papaya. Can you imagine living such a simple life and seeing something flying up in the sky for the first time? I bet these guys were thinking it's some kind of godsend gift. And the fact that this is as close as we're getting to witnessing how our ancestors lived. Number 18. The drone revealed a previously hidden ancient henge and going out of their way, drones teamed up with the drought of Ireland and revealed something that's been hiding in plain sight for thousands of years. You know how sometimes the best things are right under our noses? Well, that's what happened here. Photographer and author Anthony Murphy was flying his drone near a famous prehistoric stone monument in Ireland's Boyne Valley, taking pictures of the usual archaeological sites. But then, something caught his eye a perfect circle etched in the crops in an otherwise unmarked field. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not usually in the habit of scanning fields for ancient prehistoric monuments, but Anthony and his colleague Ken Williams knew something was up. They immediately sent pictures to archaeologists who confirmed their suspicions. They had found the footprint of an ancient henge. This little guy had been hiding for around 4,500 years, covered up by crops and just waiting for the right moment to reveal itself. And boy, did it pick the right moment. A drought had swept across the area, leaving the crops struggling to cope. And voila, the ancient Hunge was exposed for all to see. Even drones flying overhead hadn't spotted it before. But the dry spell combined with the aerial view was the perfect storm. And now, we know more about the history of this region. Now, as for what the Heng was used for, it's anyone's guess. Scholars think it might have been a ceremonial site, 
But who knows? Maybe it was just a cool spot for prehistoric folks to hang out and catch some rays, but one thing's for sure. If it wasn't for that drone, we'd still be none the wiser. Number 19. Mysterious burial? What an eerie-looking scene, right? But when you realize what's actually happening, it just makes you tear up. Now this is Hart Island here, just off the Bronx. This place has a history, been taking in New York City's unclaimed dead for over a century and a half. I'm talking about everyone from Civil War soldiers to stillborn babies, even AIDS patients back when people were really scared of that virus. This footage obviously isn't from any of those incidents, but our latest pandemic, the COVID outbreak. When during this whole coronavirus mess, the number of burials shot up, and what you see right here is the responsibility of inmates from Rikers Island. These are fresh graves being dug up with big diggers and workers dressed up in those white hazmat suits, lifting coffins with forklifts and stacking them up in these long rows. This drone footage is like a flashback to the times we all were stressed for the lives of our close ones. Number 20. Bear Cub trying to climb a snowy mountain to meet Mama. That was pretty heavy. Well, I wouldn't say this one is any easier to watch, but the end definitely puts a smile on my face. A drone captured the moment when this mama bear and its cub were trying to reach the top of this snow-covered slippery mountain. The little one is struggling to keep up with his mom, but he's not giving up. He falls down, he gets up, he falls again, but he's determined to reach his mama no matter what. And finally, after a lot of effort, he makes it to the top. Way more motivational than any Hollywood movie could ever be. This furry little guy teaches us all to never give up and always keep trying. Hats off to this brave little bear cub. And that brings us to the end of the video. Which one did you find the most surprising? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you would have liked the video, so make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Your support means a lot. Thanks for watching.